Check one, two. Check one. Check two. We're live. We're live. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the program. How you doing? How are you? How are you? We're finally here. Oh, my God. Four and a half years later, in the case of get your white privilege out of here, Marcus Conti versus the Brooklyn Hospital Center, the very good Brooklyn Hospital Center, in the case of white privilege, white reporter getting uh, racially insulted and escorted off of the hospital property during the pandemic. Uh, If you remember, four and a half years ago, it's like almost a distant memory now, but we're going to look at this this, uh, fascinating, fascinating case, and you're uh, uh, invited to... Uh, experience it live. This is my thumbnail today. Live hearing. Get your white privilege out of here. <laughs> Who are? <laughs> Who are these people? This is on the left. Is Miss uh, Miss Barbara Howie, Bowie? Miss Bowie. David Bowie uh, is the uh, lead attorney, and uh, we'll get to see a little video clip of her. Wow! Wow! Is she feisty? Oh, she wants to. She wants to start a fight. <laughs> Mr. Conti is a troublemaker. Mr. Conti is a troublemaker. You can hear a lot of that in, in this. And uh, uh, to, uh, up in the uh, corner there, that is the um, racist, uh, for lack of a better term, that she's defending. That's Mr. Joshua Wright. Uh, Get your white privilege out of here. Escorting me off the property during the pandemic. So, uh, so this is a, uh, a preview, and I'm going to give you the link. The link is already down in the description. If you look down below the video, you'll see the link to the Zoom video that's going to start at 9.30. 9.30, we're going to go to the Zoom meeting. Uh, it's not live here. It's live on Zoom. And it's open to the public, and everyone is allowed to be in that courtroom. All right? you'll, your mic will be muted, and your uh, camera will be muted. Nobody will see or hear you, but you can be a active uh, participant in that hearing via Zoom. The hearing is in the Bronx somewhere, I guess. The judge is in the Bronx at the New York State Division of Human Rights. This is a real case. This is the the real deal now. Right? We waited, we waited, and now we finally got it. Uh, so so here, this is my website, MarcusConti.com. And to get to the link, if you fail at uh, getting to the Zoom meeting through YouTube for whatever reason, the link down below, if that doesn't work, just come over here and Click the link. You can see it's a live link. Link to public Zoom hearing. You just click on the link. And when you click on it, it takes you into the into the uh, Zoom platform. All right. Very simple. Um, Also, you can click down here. That's November 4. So that's today at 930 a.m. And you can click right here and you get more details, all of the uh, the the paperwork and such. uh, Some of it anyway. Uh, and uh, all of the uh, all the other stuff that's uh, involved. So, so what what is this case about? This case is about going to the Brooklyn Hospital Center one day about four and a half years ago, April first, I believe it was, uh, twenty twenty, and uh, I was exploring this case right here. This uh, article, disturbing video, shows dead bodies loaded onto freezer truck outside. Let's watch. So. This is fascinating. Look at this. There's a freezer truck on the street. You can see it, right? And there's doctors. It looks like they're loading dead bodies into the freezer trucks, raining out. What the fuck is going on, right? The corona pandemic has slammed New York City so hard that health workers are using forklifts to load dead bodies into the refrigerator truck. <laughs> Right. So so what did I do? I ran down there and uh, the next morning and um, uh, uh, did what a good reporter should do, which is explore the idea uh, and find out what's going on. Right. So that's that's the thing that uh, got me uh, got me up in the morning. Right. And uh, so so you're going to see a video. I'm going to play it in a second. This is the video uh, of uh, my uh, my time at the uh, hospital. I think it was I wasn't even there uh, half an hour. And. Through that, I want to I want to get right to the details. This is on um, uh, this is uh, a probable cause decision dated December thirty first uh, in twenty twenty, and uh, it, the state the, the division of human rights has found probable cause for discrimination. The discrimination that we're talking about uh, a black security guard 
you know, shouts down uh, and, 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 you know, and violently pokes his, his, his fucking walkie-talkie, right, showing, showing aggression, right, and, and pushes the reporter down the hill with the phrase, get your white privilege out of here. Right, black man, right, right in the, the pit of the pandemic, and, and also the the racial riots uh, that were going on. George Floyd uh, riots. The the you know who could forget Eric Gardner, right? And uh, but here I come walking along, and suddenly I'm the you know I I'm I'm the cop that killed Eric Gardner, right? That's what this, that's how I was treated. Right? I'm you're the cop. You're white. You're a white guy. White privilege. Get your white privilege out of here. Shit is, it is chaotic, right? So, so this is the, uh, the attorney, uh, Miss Bowie, that's going to argue the case. Let's listen. Get a little flavor here. A little flavor. There is no law, uh, certainly not in New York. There are several states that have specific laws. There's no law that says you cannot choose employees partially based upon Huh. how they appear during an interview. But, but However, you should be choosing people based on their qualifications. Ah. So are there laws that outright ban or prohibit mm. employers from discriminating based solely on a person's physical appearance? No. No. There's okay. no such no. law. No such um, law. Specifically on appearance. There are laws that prohibit gender discrimination. Mm -hmm. There are laws that prohibit disability discrimination. There's also laws that, that prohibit race discrimination, Ms. Hoey. If someone had a disfigurement on their face. Yeah, okay. So that's, that's Miss Hoey right there. But here's the, here's the incident, right? Uh, you know what? Before we look at the incident, let, let's, look at, let's look at what the hospital has said was said. Right? The video is video evidence. We have direct video evidence. Right? And uh, it, the, when questioned at the one-party conference back in August of 2020 at 10 a.m., Mr. Wright, um, the security guard, said he said, "Do you have right? Do you have rights or privileges? Get out of here!" <laughs> right. He says, right, "You're gonna hear him in the video say, get your white privilege out of here.'" And then he he says, when asked by the state investigators, he turns around and says, "Do you have rights or privileges?" All right now, if that isn't bad enough, here's Ms. Bowie. Uh, the the lead attorney for the for the uh, hospital uh, is saying she's saying uh, the, the, uh, something totally different. She's saying that after I I call him a dickhead or, or something, I say something to him, and then he says, "Get your white privilege out of here." And instead of that, um, uh, the, the the attorneys are saying he said white. <laughs> so. The point of the point of, the, of of it is that the guy himself is saying he said, "Do you have rights or privileges? Get out of here!" And the attorney is saying, "Just put simply white." Now, the second part of this this transcript is especially egregious because the 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 law firm is trying to pass this into the record as official, an official transcript of what was said in the video, right? So let's just, let's just watch the video, and you'll see what was said, right? So here we go. So let's go back to the pandemic. Here we go. Racist security guard. You, you guys, a lot of you guys were there. Here's all the commentary. Uh, um, and so there I was, right? Coming up the hill. A stroll. Let's listen to what was said. I'll shut up. So, yeah, hi. Can't do what? Oh, okay. Right. Go down the hill, sir. Go down right, the hill. Sure. What's going on? There's the entrance. Don't, don't touch me. Don't right, touch me. Sir. Don't down touch hill, me. Sir. You could speak. Don't touch me. Well, I'll you know, touch as you. As I want them. Don't touch me. You know, security guards at that time were, were very physical. They were trying to grab you. Also, my clumsy equipment. I got my, my uh, stabilizer, my, my camera. It's all wobbly. Don't touch me. Huh? Fucking. Back. Fuck. Okay. Don't touch me, you fucking moron. Okay, thank you guys. Okay, everybody. Yeah. Right, and there's a second. Oh, there he is. There's Richard Wright. Whoa, there he is. Joshua Wright. Enter, enter Joshua Wright. Point. Look at it. Look at it. Look at uh, the weapon in his hand. Right. I don't know what the fuck it is. I'm looking at him. I got my back to this guy, and here he is with a walkie-talkie. Oh, get down the hill. Uh, okay. Pushing, pushing. No screen. videotape. No premises on the premises. Uh, you're gonna hear the racist slur in a second. I'm walking off your property. Uh, there's no laws against. I'm on the sidewalk. You can see I wasn't even in the building. I was just walking around the hospital. 
You don't have time for me? I don't have time for you. Just don't touch me because then we'll have a serious problem. No, how, about do, how about do something better with your life? How about you do something better with your life? That fuck says. How about, how about, I am doing something better. I'm informing the public. Look at, look at the weight on this guy. Look how fucking big and fat he is. I wonder if he's still big and fat. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're just being a dickhead. That's what you're doing. You're just being a dickhead. Oh, 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 white dickhead. That's what you're doing. You're just being a dickhead. Why oh, get your white privilege out of here. Get your white privilege out of here. That's what he said. Get your white privilege out of here. That's what my kind of my heart. <clears throat> even in listening to this, that's where my heart kind of sinks. Uh, you know, it 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 brings up all of the racial tensions of New York at the time. Black people being gaslit by mainstream media to believe that all white people are racist and have white supremacy and white superiority. And here's this poor bastard falling right into the trap, attacking a reporter because he's white. It's crazy. Oh, white privilege. Oh, now it's racist. Ah, oh, we got racists. Oh, man, you heard him. You heard him live on YouTube. You heard him live on YouTube. You got racists. Black racists guarding the property. There's the other guy. The other guy is now getting close, closer. I don't know if the uh, if this guy heard was part of the racial attack, but he's certainly on on uh, uh, the racists' heels right now. What's your name, Bra black racist? What's your name, black racist? I'm black racist, man. Right? That's what he is. He's a black racist. He says I got white privilege. Oh, why? He's, he's a racist, man. Fire this fucker. Yo, fire this piece of shit. Yo, this guy's making fucking racist comments in the coronavirus fucking epidemic. Are you kidding me, sir? Fucking racist. Racist Negro. Yo. <laughs> Yo. That's a racist. I was trying to get him. I was trying to irk him a little bit, right? Trying to, trying to get him back on, and, and make a comment, but he didn't do it. This motherfucker right there. Look that racist motherfucker. I was genuinely, I was genuinely upset right there. I was pissed off. Hmm. The guy, the guy got under my skin. Race, the fucking, I'm, I'm here trying to inform the public about the coronavirus, and the dead bodies in the freezer truck. And this jerk off is, is, is calling me, a, telling me to get my white privilege out of here. It's, it's just from out of nowhere, right? And, and where does it come from? That's really what we want to know, right? Where does, where did, where does Joshua Wright's racism come from? Where did it stem out of? I don't know. Go fuck yourself. How about you? <laughs> so I tell him go fuck himself. All right, so, so there you go. So did he say, do you have, he said, he said, right, Wright said in, a, in the conference with the Division of Human Rights, I don't know if he was under oath or not, but he lied. He said, do you have rights or privileges? Get out of here. Can anybody raise their hand and, 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 and say that he said, do you have rights or privileges? Get out of here. No, he didn't, he didn't say that. He said, get your white privilege out of here. Very clear. Right, and can anybody say that all they heard was white? And then I say, there's not even names attached to their transcript. Right, I, I take a, a, a real offense to this uh, transcript that the New York, that, uh, that the uh, hospital's attorneys are trying to pass, pass into the record as legitimate. Right? So it goes back to this lady right here, Ms. Bowie has clearly watched the video. There's no doubt about it. Has the law firm for the hospital, uh, I don't know what their name is, right? Did they watch the video or did they just make a fucking stupid uh, uh, transcript, right? So, so, you know, and pass the transcript off. Of course they watched the video. Of course they watched the video, which makes Ms. Bowie a big fat liar. She's a big fat liar, right? So who, who made this transcript, right? <laughs> if you scroll all the way down in this transcript, transcript, this is a transcript of the, uh, the whole day, right? I was, there the whole, I was there for about a half an hour. So the half an hour dialogue, right? When you go all the way to the end of it, it says Donna Daly, <laughs> uh, an employee of the, of the hospital, prepares this um, using, um, using Microsoft Stream. <laughs> they relied on a on a on a bullshit uh, software to transpose something with clear edits, right? So so big fat liars, right? So here's the what's interesting too about um, these videos is that 
uh, read the comments, go to YouTube and click on the, the video and you'll see all the comments of what people were saying four years ago. Remember Bill West was there. Uh, and, and over here, in the live video, you guys were all there, right? Look, Freddie D. Martini. All of you, all of you guys remember Sterling Price was in the house. Bridget was there. Uh, Joe Mc, McD. You guys are all, uh, uh, by the way, you guys are all um, witnesses. Kathy Chang was there. <laughs> Proactive. Kenneth Byrne. Right? All these people that were watching that day are all uh, essentially, you know, um, uh, witnesses to the fact. Right? So, so one last point, and then I'll let you go, and I'll I'll see you all in the uh, hearing. I'll be there nine thirty sharp. Nine thirty sharp. We'll be in the uh, in in the Zoom meeting. That's what this is all about, right? <clears throat> if you think that the hospital, the hospital has made the argument that uh, defendant has argued racism is not widespread at their establishment, and that employee Joshua Wright acted independently. Right. Oh, we don't know. We don't even if even if Joshua Wright is a racist and he told him to get the get his white privilege out of there. We don't have any affiliation with Joshua Wright. He acted independently. Right. We have no control over him. No, you do have control over him because he's your employee. And and the hospital disciplined him. There's a disciplinary report. I forgot to put it up uh, of the hospital disciplining Mr. Wright, saying, telling the, the public that. He is uh, uh, guilty of what we're saying he is. Right? Uh, but uh, but but to, to make matters worse uh, on um, it looks like this is off their Facebook page, the Brooklyn Hospital Center, June 5th, 2020. That's about a month later. Look at this scene right here. What the fuck is going on? You got you got doctors, blue suits, people in scrubs kneeling and praying we're doing something for nine minutes. This was some sort of uh, stunt that the hospital pulled to show their support for, I guess, the, the, the death of uh, George Floyd. Right. And we all saw that video. That was an egregious you know, act where the, uh, the, 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 the cop choked um, uh, fucking you know, uh, George Floyd to death. Nine minutes had his, had his foot on his throat. Right. That was bad news. That was a bad video. But then you turn around and say it's 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 white coats. Right. Oh, they are. They're wearing white coats. <laughs> but 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 the, the the deeper connotation is that they're white folks or white hoods. Right. This looks like a Klan rally. Right. So the point is, who are these people, these white coats? Right. When you when you look, when you take a little deeper dive, you realize that. On their website, they talk about this is directly from directly from white coats for Black Lives Matter. <laughs> it, it's like Black Lives Matter. White coats for Black Lives. Right from their website, it says white supremacy. Whiteness is an invented political tool created through violence in the service of establishing domination, maintaining control, and obtaining property and capital. <laughs> a claim to whiteness has been historically used as a violent means for stealing lives, autonomy, and economic, political, and social power. Tools of whiteness are varied and numerous, including, but not limited to, slavery, colonialism, imperialism, capitalism, individualism, professionalism. Everything is, everything is white supremacy. Everything that, to these folks is a act of racism, right? So it's inescapable. So if you are white, in their eyes, uh, 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 white coats for black lives, uh, in their eyes, uh, you are a racist, right? Now, does it? are they affiliated with the hospital in any way? I don't fucking know. All I know is there you have it. A white coats for black lives matter, white coats for black lives event occurring on the lawn of the Brooklyn Hospital Center. How many people are there? I don't know. It looks like 50, right? All kneeling, right? Putting their knee on the grass, right? So uh, uh, the point is that, that there is a, there is, this is direct evidence. This is also from Mr. Wright's website, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Niggaz, right? This is right on his website, right? Not the N-word, but with an S on it, 
right? When you hear your, when you and your, quote, naggers hear a bottle of Henny open, right? It's, it's, that's like, uh, you know, whatever. It's fucking black talk. <laughs> I don't know. It's, a, it's an urban, urban fucking, you know, sound. So, so here's the virtual hearing. Um, and uh, this is the, uh, the link. So this is all official. The dates are Monday, uh, uh, November 4. That's today at 9.30 a.m. And tomorrow, if we need to, to be there at 9.30, just pop in. You don't have to stay. Just pop in, say, you know, show, show, your, show your, uh, your presence. Uh, independent media is a great time to get a great story uh, as well. So, so there you go. I, I just want to say as well that, that this is a... Um, this is pretty serious. This was pretty uh, an ugly event that happened, and and uh, it, it was it, you know it's four and a half years later. I, I am a you know a, an adult, and uh, but it, it it was it did hurt right. It it stings right. Racist commentary like that stings. It hurts you right. Right? And and it's not no it's not necessarily like like what I'm doing now, which is mostly humor and comedy and and news, but when someone. When, when you're when you're in a public accommodation like a hospital, and from out of nowhere some very large you know security guard swinging a swinging a walkie-talkie at you, telling you to get your white privilege out of here you, during a pandemic, you've got to say to yourself that there's something wrong with this picture. Right? Something is is deeply wrong with this picture, and that's what we're gonna uh, talk about. And uh, we are we're going for you know complete. Um, Disclosure: We're going for compensatory damage here. Uh, I want to be compensated. I want to be made made equal in this in this matter, and then we'll go our separate ways. Right, so uh, so so make your way now. We're we're well, you got like I don't know you got like uh, nine minutes left to click on that link and get into the uh, live stream, and uh, I'll see you there. Marcus Conte reporting. <laughs>